Anthony with the movie blog. Very nice to meet nice you, to meet you. Pleasure. Um, This story, I kind of overheard a little bit of your interview with the other person. You mentioned how you watched the entire court case as they were... Yeah, we would, we would come home and watch these hearings uh, um, every day. Really? Oh, yeah. I, I watched as much as I, I probably could have. You know, no Gilligan's Island during that period of time. It was all, it was all the Senate. Uh, it was all the Senate. And I remember, you know, Howard Baker repeatedly saying, what did the president know and when did he know it? And what you learn as an adult is he was actually going over to the White House and getting orders from the White House while he was saying that. So he was working essentially as a mole in his own committee. And th these things are, um, you know, it's surprising how complicated and how similar everything is to what's happening now. I mean, today, right? Was it today that uh, Jim Jordan brought his uh, brought his committee to uh, New York to uh, to question people about Bragg? And it's like, where exactly does it say that in the Constitution? You can do that. Where exactly does that? I'd like to see that particular clause. You, you kind of stole my next question. <laughs> uh, you know, I was going to ask, you know, what would what makes today, you know, the right time to tell this particular story and revisit it? Well, I don't think there's any wrong time to tell this particular story, especially if it's told well. And this is told very, very well by people who understand how to write politics because they don't dumb it down. They don't make it easier for the audience. And at the same time, it's clear these people are so stupid. Like, I mean, what they thought they were going to be able to get away with was so shocking. But, you know, I don't know if you know this, but one of the results of the Watergate trials, the Watergate hearings were that Roger Ailes started Fox News. Really? Yes, because he felt the big problem for Nixon was he didn't have an ally in the press. And if he had had an ally in the press, he would have maintained his presidency. Okay, okay. Um, are they exactly. <laughs> <laughs> any other tidbits or any other information that you're most excited for audiences to learn ab from this? I think, I think it's going to be really interesting to see how they feel about uh, the money that ended up dropping out of a plane, things that happened in this that, that you, it's, so, it's truth is such... It's so stranger than fiction in this thing. And it, 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 I hope what happens is what happened to me when I read the material, which is you're laughing, you're laughing, you're laughing, you're laughing until you suddenly realize the preponderance, the overwhelming amount of it, it stops being funny and starts being chilling. Because, you know, we can, sarcasm is the, um, is the defense most people have towards this stuff. But we can't afford to be sarcastic about it. We can't afford to be cynical. We actually have to lead with our heart because that's the only thing that's going to change anything is saying this is wrong and making sure that people are held accountable. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate your time. Take care. Thank you.